With Horizon 4 lacking customization, it was rare for cars to look apart from one another. Because of that, I made this list of all the customization features we need in Horizon 5. Enjoy. Despite Horizon 4's broad wheel selection, it still lacks many of the most desirable rims in the car community. For example, wheels like BBS FIRs and Volk T37Vs aren't in the game, and in my opinion, wheels like those are completely necessary in a car enthusiast based game. In Horizon 5, it would be great to see more deep dish rims as they would make stance builds on many cars look a lot better. More new features that the player base would appreciate would be the addition of stretched tires and more tire letterings instead of simply the standard Forza lettering. Games like Need for Speed Heat have tire letterings from brands like Toyo Tires and Falcon, and they overall help add more realism to the builds. A feature that would make drifters happy would be the ability to mix and match your rims in both color and style. Implementations like these simply help diversify the builds in the community as most builds you see in Horizon and four look yeah, exactly the same due to the lack of customization. As exhaust sound can't be changed in Horizon 4 at all, the ability to modify your car's sound either through changing your muffler or exhaust system would be a revolutionary feature. The addition of functional exhaust systems from companies like Borla, Tomei, Armitrix, and HKS would be a feature that would keep players attached to the game for years. One issue I had with previous Horizon games is that you can't swap your muffler without changing your body kit. It would be great to be able to keep the stock body kit on the car and still have that big bore exhaust. A feature GTA 5 has that Forza doesn't is customizable mufflers in general. For example, in GTA you can add big bore, smoke tip, or even dual exit exhaust onto basic cars like the Sentinel. As many players seek realism, a great addition would be the fart can, which would allow for people to recreate the local ricers in their neighborhood. Another amazing addition, although irrelevant to customization, would be anti-lag or a two-step feature for specific exhausts, which would help diversify different players' bills and overall allow for more personalization in the game. As very few cars in Horizon 4 can be fully stanced or lifted, we need more suspension options in Horizon 5. With the implementation of bags and Need for Speed Heat, Turn 10 is the perfect opportunity to compete by adding bags as an option in the next game. Air suspension has been a highly requested feature for years, so if there is any opportunity to add them into the game, it would be now with the next generation consoles and Horizon 5. Many truck enthusiasts in Horizon 4 couldn't fully lift or add thick off-road tires to their vehicles, often leaving them looking extremely awkward. Awkward. Trucks like the Ford Ranger Raptor need options for bigger lift kits and huge off-road tires. If the crew too can add monster trucks to their game, Turn 10 can certainly find a way for trucks to have a bit more lift and larger tires. Certain cars also have horrible suspension height which absolutely needs to be fixed. For example, if you don't put the Panem kit in the R32, it leaves it looking like Bambi. You have no choice but to use the Panem kit on the R32 which is extremely disappointing. Another thing I really want to see in Horizon 5 is cars actually scraping. In Horizon in 4, the only cars that scrape are supercars like the Mosler and the 599XX, but the ability to make normal cars like a Civic scrape would be amazing. Overall, Stance is a department which could drastically improve the game with little to no extra time involved for coding, as lifting a car and making the tires bigger could be easily done by players on Horizon 3's dev build. Since Horizon 3, Forza's only included a few widebody kits that only appear on certain cars, with those widebodies mainly either being only Rocket Bunny or Liberty Walk kits. A great way to diversify body kits in the game would be to add bolt-on widebodies as a Forza Arrow option, similar to what you can find in Need for Speed No Limits. Forza Arrow could also use more customization options in general. For example, being able to remove tow hooks and canards, and being able to adjust the width and height of the Forza wings. Although this might be tough to license, a great feature would be the ability to remove your front and rear bumpers, as many cars simply look better without them. A feature I can't believe still isn't in the game is legit carbon fiber body parts. Even mobile games utilize this feature, which is another simple way to add more customization to the game. Although you can add carbon fiber stickers to your car through the vinyl editor, it isn't the same as a legit carbon fiber hood for example. Since Horizon 5 is going to be on next gen, Turn 10 needs to add a significant amount of body kits to make the game feel like it's improved over its predecessor. Some necessary and highly admired additions would be the Mansory kits for the Exotics, the Veilside kit for the RX-7, and the Vertex S15 kit to name a few. Although extremely tasteless, another feature which is highly requested is the ability to put scissor doors on any car which would actually be a pretty interesting addition into the game. 
Interior customization has been neglected by Forza since the beginning. A simple way to change this is through being able to change the colors of your interior like you could in the Crew 2. On convertible cars and most exotics, interior color could drastically change the look of the car. To expand on this, being able to strip your interior for weight reduction will also be an amazing feature as no other console based racing games allow for this. Since many people nowadays have racing simulators and play in first person, features that would be great for them would be customizable steering wheels, gauges, shifters, and center consoles. Another great feature would be aftermarket seats from brands such as Recaro and Bride. For Japanese cars, these seats are highly popular and help change the aesthetic of the car. Although these features would be extremely difficult and time consuming for developers to add into the game, the additions would be highly appreciated by many. The most distinguishing factors of car customization are the details that their owners add to them. Unfortunately, Horizon 4 had very few details to add that would set cars apart from one another. To fix this, features such as de-chroming and debadging cars are a great start. Many cars look terrible when they're blacked out because of how much chrome is on them. Debadging and de-chroming is an easy way to fix this. Although debadging could be a licensing issue, if Turn 10 is able to bypass this, they would be a highly appreciated addition. Another feature which would help with blacking cars out would be headlight and taillight tint. Highly requested for many years, I still can't see why a simple feature like this hasn't been implemented yet. Another feature which has been highly requested is the ability to add window stickers through the vinyl editor. I initially saw this as a licensing issue, however, since Need for Speed Heat has this feature, it clearly isn't impossible to implement. An extremely interesting feature which was in a mobile game I played is charms attached to the back bumper of special cars. Similar to weapon charms in Call of Duty, this feature would help set your car apart from others. Adding minute details like these to exclusive reward cars for example would help add value to the vehicle. Lastly, with the constant rumors of Horizon 5 being set in Japan, a necessary addition would definitely be Underglow. Games like GTA 5 have had this feature since the beginning, and although mostly tasteless, they look extremely cool in dark environments and would feel and look at home in Japan. Speaking of Japan, the way they customize supercars has to be given justice if Horizon 5 actually ends up being set there. With their neon Lambos, Buzzazoku, and Static K cars, being able to turn regular vehicles into stuff like this is what will help set the game apart from its competitors. Giving people the options to fully convert their cars into Buzzazoku machines, for example, would be a great start. For certain supercars like the Aventador or the Ferrari 360, the option to convert them into a driving light show would not only give Japanese culture justice, but would also make for insane night driving runs, and overall would make a lot more people want to get on to play the game. And those are all the customization features the community wants in Horizon 5. But before you go, 89% of you aren't subscribed, so make sure you guys subscribe and get that percentage down. I'm trying to hit 35,000 subscribers by the end of November, and your help would be greatly appreciated. With that, drop a comment if you have any video ideas, or if I miss any features on this list, smash like, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Wow. Oh, 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 oh,